Welcome back to the Green Brick channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion mod where I've combined two of these sets to form one large mansion. I've also incorporated all of the pieces from the Halloween Spooky VIP add-on pack and used pieces and minifigures from my own collection as well. So sit back and enjoy. So this is the Spooky VIP add-on pack. It was a gift with purchase, $50 US or more, and here are all its contents. We're gonna put all these pieces into use in our mod. This is the Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion. It came out in 2015. It was the largest Scooby-Doo set for that year, but for today's standards, it's not that large of a set. And honestly, it's not that much of a mansion either. There's not a whole lot of bulk other than that tall tower. That's why I've created this, where I've got more height and more width. So I'm gonna start this video down here at the front gate, where we've got this pizza delivery guy delivering pizza to what he thinks is the wrong house. He's getting suspicious that he might be in the wrong location. And who's this gang behind him? Scooby is not sure he should trust his pals anymore. They're looking a little bit bony. So here's a view of the courtyard where you've got this wrought iron fence surrounding it. The big doors in front are chained up. The pizza man's having a hard time pulling it open. I've got these frog statues. Uh, those are pieces from the VIP add-on pack. Just made some random frog statues there. Inside the gate, we've got this zombie coming at you, probably just wanting pizza. Um, some tombs. Looks like one tomb is in the process of being opened. Maybe by one of the skeletons from the add-on pack. Got some fences that I used from the add-on pack near the door. A camera that I've used from the blaster that came from the uh, add-on pack, as well as the eyeball. So the camera looks like it's watching you, and there's twins inside the door. So working our way up from the ground floor to the second level, we've got Count Dracula here looking out from the master suite. We've got spiders, bats throughout, some, are, some of which are from the VIP add-on pack. Up here on the third level balcony is Miss Dracula. Over on the side here looks like a witch at one time ran into the side of the roof and got flattened. Then going up the tower, these wing elements were part of the VIP add-on pack. Not much difference did I modify the clock from the original build gargoyle here at the very tip-top roof and ghouls flying around. I'm using a tree in between the mansion and the greenhouse to kind of transition between and fill the gaps here. But off to the side of the mansion you have this greenhouse that has come to life with these spooky vine-like creatures. On the other side of the mansion I've got this taller tree here to fill in some gaps between the mansion and the shed. And here's the shed. It's got an infestation of spiders. They're crawling through this gap in the roof. And we'll take a look, see what's going on on the inside. So here's a look at the inside of the Scooby-Doo mansion. This is the inside of the shed. We've got this spooky knight grinding an ax. Up above him in the rafters are the spiders that were getting through the broken roof. Moving over here, got a rundown kitchen with a zombie. Cookies scattered throughout. Up above that room, we've got a broken down bathroom with a ghost inhabiting it. Third level, this is the twins room. Pretty spooky if you ask me. All right, moving on to the center tower. As you can see, I've got a 
battery box hooked up to a motor and to a worm gear. That's what drives the ghouls above the tower from spinning. Got some lightning strikes from the VIP add-on pack. But for now, I'll detach this battery pack so you can have a better look inside. Got a prospector there. Looks like the prospector from series 12. Um, got this spinning feature. I didn't do any modifications to it. This is how it was designed in the original set. And here's the front door where the spooky twins were looking out. You have another mounted camera. Okay, moving on to the west wing. We've got the master bedroom here. Spider web growing up onto the ceiling. That was from the VIP add-on pack, as well as all of those plates connecting it. There's a backside view of Count Dracula, his bed. And got a mysterious glow in the fireplace. Those bricks were from the add-on pack. Down below that room, we've got a study. There's a picture of the prospector again. That guy's probably been sitting in the chair a little bit too long. On this side, we've got a custom bookshelf. So here's the inside of the greenhouse. It's separated from the house. You're not supposed to have access to this other than that outside door. Got a large vine thingy and a baby vine thingy. Here's a little side build. I've used up a lot of pieces from the VIP add-on pack to build this cart. Just something quick I put together. I've got this skeleton directing this skeletal horse-like creature, which that's just something I had in my own pieces. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed looking at the mods that I've made to the Mystery Mansion. More mods, mocks, and everything Lego coming to you soon.